In our previous example, we used two images to create a button effect instead of having to use 12 different images. We also have the added effect, you may have noticed if you looked in the source code, of we don't have to have any JavaScript that's added for each page. Instead, we use just a couple of simple styles, like such, that gets put into an external style sheet if we do it correctly. And that way it saves an amount of new information that has to be downloaded on each page. Now, I can even go further and say I want my buttons to use only one image. Now this is a process we refer to as CSS sprites, and it's very simple actually to do. If you look at some sites like YouTube, you'll notice that all the images that they use are actually part of one large image, and they just split up to the small pieces inside of the CSS. This means you only have one file to download, so it becomes much, much faster to download. Now the way I go about this process in Dreamweaver is pretty simple. I'm going to edit my CSS rule. Now I'm editing my anchor tag for all the places where I have my anchor tag inside of a tag called nav. I have my background image. I'm going to change this to one I have preset. Now when we look at this image, which I call button, you notice it looks like it has two buttons in it. Well, what's going to happen is we're going to use the top part for a normal state and the bottom part for a bottom state. I'm going to say OK. What I'm going to do is choose my background position. For my background position horizontally, for the x value, I choose to have it centered. And for my background position on Y value, I choose to go against the top of the image. I hit apply. You notice how the image works in the exact same spot. I'm going to say OK. Then my nav hover, I'm going to edit that rule. I'm going to remove where it says background image. Now very carefully, I don't want to say none, which is an option. I don't want to say none because that's going to undo from my parent CSS rule. What's going to happen is because we have a pseudo selector, any rules that we don't define within a pseudo selector are going to be defined in my regular .nav anchor tag. What I'm going to do differently though, however, is my background position for my horizontal is still going to stay centered, but for my vertical position, or the Y, I'm going to choose to start at the bottom. So if I hit apply and say OK, Right now it looks the same, but if I go, I'm going to save my style sheet. But if I go to live view, roll over, now you can see that the image is just moving where the location is. I'm using the top of the image for my normal state, and I'm using the bottom of the image for my hover state. If you look over to my file panel, you'll notice that each image, when I used images for my rollovers, was approximately 8K in size. When I use the button normal and the button over, they're only about 5K in size. Now this gave us the advantage of not having nearly as much to download. 5K is obviously less than 8, and I only had 2 instead of 12 images to download. Now my single button image is only 7K, so it's larger than my individuals for my plain button, however it's smaller than they are combined. Sometimes this is true, sometimes it's not, it all depends upon the image and how they're set up, how many colors you need to use, etc. But often, the one image, especially if you're starting to place dozens of images, winds up being much simpler and faster to download than having to download a bunch of individual images because you don't have to make as many requests on the server. So this is one way that we use CSS to speed up your overall website when the client goes to download it and view it.